a leader's forgiveness. The four keys to forgiving your employees, co-workers, and even your bosses. As a leader, enhancing not only your leadership and work-life harmony, but also theirs. Remember, this is empathic leadership, not soft leadership. So I want to share with you the four keys, but let's start at the very beginning. You may be asking yourself, forgiveness as a part of leadership? You better believe it. Because if you're in senior leadership, there are so many people that you may forgive and acts that you may have to forgive. In regards to not meeting metrics, coming in late, um, challenging your ideas, and all of the different things that I can go on about that you may have to forgive. Because as a senior leader, if you go firing and demoting every single person that you struggle with, there'll be no one else for you to lead. Now, what about middle management? Well, you're right in the middle, being sandwiched to meeting all of the demands from up above and then dealing with all of the gripes from underneath you. There's a lot of forgiveness that you may have to put on your plate to successfully lead, forgiving your bosses and also forgiving your more frontline employees. Now, what about as a frontline employee? You may have to forgive some of the choices that your senior leaders make, the changes organizationally that land in your lap. But remember, forgiveness is a two-way street. At some point, you may want to be forgiven for the mistakes that you inherently make. And I have been on both sides. I have been a person in a professional position of leadership. And one story stands out for me like yesterday. I was having a conversation with someone that I was leading. She was having a bad day and she exploded on me. To this day, I cannot recall what she was upset about. However, the way she spoke to me, the look on her face, and the fact that she did it in public was outrageous. So what did I do as a rookie leader? As soon as she left and went down the hallway, you're right, ugh, I followed after her, only making the situation worse. It would have behooved me to do some forgiving at that time, and it helped that she was able to, to do some forgiving in hers. I've also been that frontline employee, and on one of my worst days, giving a situation that if you read my book, you'll learn more about, I exploded in the middle of the hallway towards my boss. And although I was right about every single thing that I said, and I think everyone around me could understand the situation, it did not make it right what I said, how I said it. So I've had the pain and pleasure of being on both sides. So here are the four keys and we'll break them down. One, when you choose to forget, share with your people. Number two, understanding your offenders why. Number three, setting boundaries. And then number four, letting go. So many times when we talk about forgiveness, people think that we start with letting go. And that's simply not the way it is. It's truly a process that you can work straight through or may bounce around in. So let's start with number one, sharing with your people. Everyone can be a leader when you choose to be. So one thing, when we are offended, no matter who's done the offending, share with your people. And you want to vent to your circle, your circle that can help you and challenge you and helps you to be a better leader no matter what you're going through. So who are your people? professionally at the office, please remember you're in a leadership position. You don't gripe below you. You gripe above you or at your level, but only to people that can help you and challenge you. They listen to you about the issue. They don't bobblehead you to tell you how right you are and everything they would have done only to send you back more righteously wrong to make more egregious mistakes. And they end it with, what are you going to do now? Have you seen the other person's point of view? Why would that person or that incident have happened the way it did? What part did you play? And even if you are in the right, what are you going to do to make it better? Those are your people. So do you have those people at work? Do you have those people in your, in your personal life? That's your circle. Share and vent. Vent purposefully, time limited, and people limited. 
Next is understanding your offender's why. Why would that person blow up on you like that? Why would this person make the same mistake five times in a row? Is it due to poor organizational teaching, poor training, your poor shadowing, your poor delivery and teaching people how to do things? I'm not sure, but you need to be sure. Why would this person who you have hired and see as an asset, why would your husband, your wife, your kids, people who love you in your life, say that thing to you? Behave that way towards you. Understand your offenders why. They may not always be right in what they did. However, they're right about something. It is your job as a leader to figure out what that is. Number three is setting boundaries. So many times people outside of you that weren't hurt think that your forgiveness means that things go back to exactly how they were, only benefiting them. And that, my friend, is not a case. As a leader, once you have shared it with your people, you have uh, understood your offenders why. And if they are still having a job in your place, if they're still having a part to play in your life, what are the new boundaries that you are going to set to make this relationship still worthwhile? And it may sound like this. Hey, I really gave some thought to that incident the other day. When you shared this, you had a point about this. And this is something that I want to do to address this. However, moving forward, we, you, no one here can talk to other people like that. So moving forward, when you have a problem with me, when you have a problem with something, when you have a problem or want to challenge things, I don't want to stop that. However, moving forward, let's do it like this. Because that way, we can't move forward. We can't move forward with the old way. And now we have an understanding. Not only do you have an understanding together, but they also now have a blueprint on how to effectively challenge you as a leader. So we set boundaries. What boundaries do you need to set with an individual on your team, with the team, or someone maybe even in your personal life as you move forward? You'll learn a lot about them after or how or how they do not accept your boundaries and then what you'll do after. Lastly, key number four is now you get to let it go if you choose to. Please remember that forgiveness is a choice professionally or personally and it's twofold. Number one, if you do not choose to forgive, that's okay. However, you must be okay with how things currently are. So you choose not to forgive and that person is no longer in your life or you choose not to forgive and that person, and you're, you're fine right how it is, then it's gonna stay how it is and you're okay with that. If you do choose to forgive and you set boundaries, then that means we can no longer pummel that person with consequences. We can no longer bring it up because it satisfies us professionally or personally. We don't get to blackball that person and never speak to them again. So please free them of the consequences and the lashes of the mistake if you've chosen to forgive and move forward. So guys, that's the four keys. Share with your people who are yours. Then you got to understand your offenders why. They're right about something. Understand what why they would say that and what they were right about. Set the boundary. It's not okay for us to talk or behave in this way. And this is the new boundary. And you have to be okay with it. They have to be okay with it. And then we both let go. So you either let things stay where they are or it's time to move forward. Not back, forward. So guys, if you like this, I hope that this resonated with you. I hope that this impacts you professionally, personally, in leadership and work-life harmony. And if you like this, you're going to love everything at youevolvingnow.com. That's Y-O-U, evolvingnow.com. I look forward to you clicking above or down below, connecting with me to find out more, and let's customize something great for your leaders, employees, teams, and organizations.